Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. So here we go again, bounding into comics.com. This is a hell of a good site for any kind of, uh, for any kind of entertainment news. So <laughs> I don't get this. The, the headline for this is simple. It's um, Netflix's Resident Evil star Lance Riddick dismisses critics of quickly canceled series as trolls and haters who never got what we were doing. I'm going to stop right there. Again, you can read the article in its entirety. The headline, just the headline now, is what I want to focus on. Because it is a major trend in Hollywood right now. If you haven't noticed or haven't heard, box offices, these, these big box office budget films, especially these um, superhero, video game, anime, live action adaptations, are doing absolutely horrible. They are absolute turds. They are straight up flush it. Hell, David Zaslav did it with Batgirl. Thank you, David, for saving us. Um, but what I'm saying is, these movie studios, instead of owning up to the fact that y'all are making shit movies, attack the fans. They don't even listen to the criticism. Well, let me take that back. I think they listen to the criticism, and because the criticism hits so close to home, the criticism tells so much truth, they, they can't accept it and just dismiss it as haters or trolls. Or if you're on Twitter, oh, it's Russian bots. Yeah, I, I, that's not a joke. They literally say any kind of negativity is uh, uh, Russian bots. On uh, Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb re uh, movie reviews, they say, oh, it's being review bombed. Or, check this out, listen to it closely, your movie could just be shit. Lance Riddick, uh, African-American guy, uh, whom I love, dude. Lance Riddick in John Wick, his little quiet role, I, I absolutely love him. I absolutely do. That is my guy. But with that being said, it's not the fact that the people are haters and trolls, Lance. It's not the people that it's not the fact that people are racist Marvel and Disney. It's not the fact that um, that people are 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 are, are um, hating because of diversity. Um, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. It's because y'all are telling shit stories. Let's look at Resident Evil. Let's just stay focused on Resident Evil right now. Resident Evil is a beloved video game with a very deep interesting story all Hollywood has to do take that game put it on the screen hell YouTube has awesome videos where players play the game cut out the gameplay and give you a movie just with the CGI scenes that are in the game those are better movies than that shit as Netflix Resident Evil was. That Resident Evil series on Netflix was made with diversity in mind first, story somewhere around fourth or fifth. Because the story made no sense. It really did. The, the, let me give you one of the synopsis of the story. The Umbrella Corporation that has started a worldwide zombie plague is trying to concoct a drug to sell to people and there are only 1.5 million people left on the planet. Who the hell are you selling this drug to and who has the money to buy it? Like I said, flawed premises. Side note, which is the number one reason I have never finished the um, Hunger Game stories. The premise is flawed. Back on track. So it's not the fact that our haters are trolls, Mr. Reddick. It's the fact that that movie that television series was garbage. It's not the fact, dear Star Wars, 
it's not the fact that they uh, hated having a black woman in a leading role. The story took a complete shit on the original trilogy. It punked Obi-Wan. It completely retconned an already established story of 40, no, 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 of 50 freaking years almost. You completely pissed on that story. So, bruh, come on, man. And Lord of the Rings, y'all think that having a black dwarf and a, and a black elf is why people are hating on it? Nah, no. Tolkien fans, I mean true Tolkien fans, people that have read all the books, partner, you can't fool with them. And, and I love the fact that they're not taking it. So why attack the fans? Why not look within yourselves first and just go, wait a minute, we're getting this much criticism. And here's the crazy part about it. It's a hundred voices or a hundred different critics all saying pretty much the same two to three points. It's not like they're getting this super wide array of criticism. They're all the two or three points of criticism that are just being voiced differently. And instead of just saying, wow, so these two to three points are really bugging people. Let me look at it. Oh, no, y'all don't get it. Y'all are just haters. Okay, well, keep taking them L's. Keep taking those box office L's. Keep taking those ratings L's. Keep taking those stockholder and those stock L's. Keep taking those subscription L's. Until you finally get into your head, you have an IP, and I don't understand this. You have an IP that you got because of its fan base. So you take that IP, convert it to something that those same fans that you courted are not going to hate. You got it so you can do your own thing to it. You want to use the name to draw those fans in, and then when you change what the fans love, then you're pissed off about it. Oh, I don't think I, don't, I haven't forgot y'all, Halo, which is like one of the biggest fuck yous in recent memory. And then y'all get mad at the fans? That's that's just absolutely illogical. Let me break it down to something that studio execs, studio execs might be able to understand. Because y'all studio execs, they have y'all have money, right? Y'all y'all got the money. I want y'all to think about this. You let's say that you ordered a Bugatti, okay? Because you like the look of this Bugatti. You like all the amenities that come with it. You order this Bugatti, okay? They send you a car that has the name and the logo Bugatti on it. But in all actuality, it's a Volkswagen Jetta. They took a Volkswagen Jetta and threw the Bugatti name on it. Wouldn't you feel insulted by that? Because that's not what you ordered. It may have the name Bugatti, but that's it. That's what y'all are doing to fans. Y'all are taking the name and doing what, and, and changing it to something entirely different from what it's supposed to be, from what it was, from actually what y'all even purchased. So stop blaming fans and do better for yourselves. Oh, how about this one? Let me let me throw this out here as as a added, added bonus. Y'all got these IPs based on the fans. The fans follow the follow the games because it has a compelling story. So studio execs, what you're actually doing is you're shitting on the writers and creators of the original content. The people that created Raccoon City. The people that did Resident Evil. The time those writers and creators and directors put into creating that story and that world, you took it and shit on it. Same thing with Tolkien. Same thing with Marvel. Same thing with Star Wars. Same thing with Halo. They're already created worlds and stories before you got them. Then y'all take them and shit on them. So it's, so while y'all are being mad at, at the fans, shouldn't those creators be pissed at y'all? Shouldn't those people who created those worlds demand an apology for what you do to their IPs? Quit calling everybody haters and trolls. Quit blaming your fan base for mythical racism and homophobia and all that bullshit. How about you actually sit down, create a good story, listen to the criticism, and change things accordingly? Because let me tell you somebody who did that and it worked out well. Do anybody remember, does anybody remember the original trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog and how much that got roasted? Do you know what that movie studio did? They didn't call the fans haters. They actually listened, went back, changed the CGI for Sonic, put it back out there, and what happened? <gasps> Sonic became a box office hit. So you're saying that studios that actually listen to criticism and don't piss off their fans actually have success? What a novel fucking idea. Try using it, dumbasses. Man, we gonna stop it right there. 
you can catch the rest of that conversation on our Free Mind Thinkers podcast, which you can listen to wherever you listen to any of your favorite podcasts. We are on Amazon Music, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So give us a listen there. If you like what you heard, then tell the world. Share. Like the vid. If you have something to say, then please, we encourage everyone, drop a comment. Let us know what's on your mind. And you can find us all over social media. You can find our videos on BitChute, Odyssey, and YouTube. You can communicate with us through our various communication social media site platforms like Twitter, Rumble, Getter, Minds, Gab. Wherever you want to let your free mind thoughts flow, you'll find the free mind thinkers. Plus, we are now setting up our locals page, which will soon load exclusive content for all those that become members. So stay tuned. Things are going to get greater. Y'all take it light. Remember to listen less, learn more.